Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Casper the Boy Diviner and I have something really exciting to show you guys. I have gotten the Yoshitaka Amano Tarot deck and it is the out of print deck. So this is his name in Japanese and I'm a big fan of Yoshitaka Amano. His artwork is all over fa Final Fantasy so if you play the Final Fantasy games you know that he designed a lot of the characters including those in FF10 which is one of my favorite Final Fantasies ever. And this is his signature art style which is really beautiful and he created only one tarot deck and it's actually a pip deck. I feel like in Japanese culture, most of the Japanese tarot decks that I see that are really thought out are all pip decks so it's really interesting to see how they approach the tarot. I've been mulling about over this deck for the longest time because there are some niggles right? Number one, these are all used decks so the quality of used decks can really vary. Um, this came out long time ago, can, we can take a look at the date here, 1996, um, uh, April 20th. So. You can see from the spots and everything, this is a very used deck. This was actually, um, how many years ago? 14 years ago, you know? So the card quality, the card stock, all the production value is all from about um, this 14 years ago. So it is not in good quality. It's not like the card stock that we have today. It is very shiny and hard and difficult to use. So these are all the things that were stopping me from getting this out of print deck because it is also pretty expensive for what it is quality wise. And there are a lot of risks along the way. At the same time, I actually sold my stunning tarot to a friend, Mixtress Ray, and she gave me some of the. She, she paid me for it, of course. And using that money that she paid me, I bought this deck for myself as a treat for Christmas. So I'm really excited. I, I, and I actually really enjoy the deck more than I thought. There are many different variations of the cover, I think. And I got this one. This is one of my favorite covers, and I really like this cover here. Really nice. Um, and it comes. And this is the box, so you get two things. You get a insert for the cards and then the book. In Japanese culture, the book is flipped this way, but I don't understand Japanese at all. Some of the kanji I understand just because it's chi in Chinese, so it's chi sing, which is like knowledge in Chinese. Uh, Lian Ren, which is uh, the lovers. So um, I think Google now actually has, has like an auto translate function, so maybe I can try it out um, one day and just like read up about what. How was this written if these were drawn with the traditional meanings in sight? I don't think so to be honest. But um, yeah, I, I like the book. It is in pretty good quality. I don't see any like terrible um, age spots which I have with some of my books that I've kept for 14 years. This is the insert that actually keeps the cards. It's a really ugly green to be honest. And the cards are not here because I took them out. Everyone who watches my channel knows how much I hate split boxes I really hate them so what I did is to use the only tarot cloth I've ever sewn myself <laughs> I, I want to do more I actually have like 10 more pieces of this cloth but uh, yeah so I'm using this for the deck now which I already cleansed and consecrated but I have not used because I ordered it to cleanse and consecrate I actually have not read with it yet and just wanted to show you guys before I do that okay the deck comes with two blank cards so these two are the blank cards and these are the backs. Uh, you can see how glossy it is, you know? And you can see the scratches on, on the dark uh, edges. Can you see this? I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's really glossy, but the art is so beautiful. You can also tell that um, the cards have been punched. You can, see, you, you can see on here and here. In other cards, it's more obvious, but it's clearly like it was held together on the paper with this too, and then they pushed it out. So you can see that it's, um, it's weird here. But this is the fool. Beautiful. The magician. This is so Yoshitaka Amano. This, his art style is beautiful. I love the color, the colors that he used for this deck. They are also congruent. The high priestess. This looks like a peacock um, feather thing. The empress. Beautiful and strong. The emperor with a, a hawk next to him. The Hierophant, can you see? There's another figure inside him. The Lovers, really like this too. The downward uh, pointing arrows that have a heart as the tail. The Chariot, black and white horses. Strength. I think this is a dragon hoarding and then the little you know, the typical small fairy that is with the um, 
There is Gentle with the Dragon or the Beast, the Hermit behind bars. It's a very interesting interpretation. The Wheel of Fortune, a wheel you can see, the central figure sitting here and then a wheel around. And then this says Yi or er, Sun. In Chinese, that's one, two, three. You can see three different fingers with different fingernails. I have no idea what this means. I'm trying to take a look at the symbols here and I don't know if it has any significance. If I can read Japanese, it probably would be better. Justice, you can see that she's sitting on a scale. So a really different interpretation. The hangman, like a cocoon. Death. It's a, it's the line work here is almost non-existent. Very interesting. When he is known for his very delicate line work, you know. Temperance. The devil. Green. The tower. Look at how detailed his art is. I love his art. I wish there was a reprint with better cardstock or if he can draw the full tarot because this is a pip deck, you know? The star. The moon. The sun. How voluptuous. I see another face here. Judgment. You can see the, the angel blowing his trumpet and then more and more trumpets all around. In the world. The lion. You see the, the other figures, the octopus. I love that. And then here we go with the pips. I probably will do this pretty quickly. I don't think you need to see everything uh, so clearly with the pips. But the ace of wands, the aces, and the court cards have the most design, of course. Two of wands. The three of wands. The four of wands. The five of wands. The six of wands. The seven of wands. The eight of wands. The nine of wands and the Ten of Wands. And the Page of Wands, with a goose behind him. Beautiful, and the other little birds. So interesting because the page is more known for, uh, sorry, the, the wands are more known for fire, but there's so many airy details here. The Knight of Wands, look at the horse, look at the, the knight. Love the detail here. The Queen of Wands. King of Wands, Yin Birds, the Ace of Swords, and then the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and then the Page of Swords. I love this um, split, you know? Who are, who are you? You're still searching yourself, you know? Still finding out who you are in this journey. The Knight of Swords. Someone is more sure. A little more sure. Standing on smoke. He is ready to move. The Queen of Swords. There's that sense of a phoenix behind her. There's fiery details even though she's a sword. So I don't know if the correspondences are different. The King of Swords. An old grizzly man. I love the sketchy nature of some of his art here. The Ace of Cups. Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups. I love how he arranged this, not like the typical eight in the, the other ones, the Nine of Cups, and then the Ten of Cups. Okay, the Page of Cups, it's, even though it has a horse, it is a page, so interesting. And then the Knight of Cups here, the horse is holding a little flower in his mouth, that's so cute. The Queen of Cups, very gentle, very, very motherly, very maiden. There's more more maiden than mother. And then the King of Cups holding a big, two big cups. There's a cheetah here, which I feel like it's more well known for. Um, cheetahs are more well known in the Queen of Wands, I think. Or the Leopard, you know? Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, six of Pentacles, seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. I love this. The yin yang nature of this card is amazing. The Knight of Pentacles, the horse here sleeping, the money, the coins, the Queen of Pentacles, 
and then the King of Pentacles. Okay, now I'm quite excited. This is the first time I'm going to shuffle this deck and I'm going to be really gentle because this is an uh, out of print deck and it wasn't cheap uh, and the quality isn't great. So I'm going to shuffle it. It feels okay. I, I can't complain. I, I, I like the art. Uh, and even though I have trouble with tip decks, I really hope I get to learn how to read this uh, deck well. And then I'm going to do a quick read, um, reading of my own day because I've not done it yet. I haven't done the card of the day. So, can we have some advice for me today? Can we have some advice for me today, please? Can we have some advice for me today? Clearly, it's not shuffled well, so I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna try to refer shuffle it gently, okay? Uh, refer shuffling is the easiest and fastest way to shuffle a deck, a deck. but it's so scary to do it with a um, out of print deck. So I'm gonna do it really gently, which is to um, drop the cards a bit by bit and then putting them together slowly. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle it up a bit. And then we're gonna do that one more time. You can see here, all these marks are because they were plucked. I talked about it earlier, right? Okay, and then one more time. Let's try again. Can we get some advice for today, please? For me today, let me get some advice. One, two, and three. Okay, I, I think that's pretty well spread out. Feeling complete doesn't mean you don't need any kind of a romantic attachment, even it feels weird, right? Um, even though you feel complete, because you feel complete, it is the best time to actually be open to possibilities in the realm of romance. In a, and, and sometimes it's okay to be passive, even though you're looking for it, you know? It's okay to be passive as long as you feel whole. But uh, this is when the opportunities might come. That's what I'm getting for myself today. I'm not on the dating apps or anything, so I don't know what it means. I have to really think about it, but that's the, my initial thought when I'm looking at this spread because of the two cups, uh, the passiveness of the um, chariot reverse, the wholeness of the, the world. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short look through first impressions. I really enjoyed this deck. Anyone who, who is a fan of Yoshitaka Amano should really get this deck. I really feel like it's worth it. It is not easy to find um, you know his art out there anymore. He, I feel like he's doing less and less, especially since um, they are getting new artists for um, the Final Fantasy series. But um, yeah, beautiful art, a beautiful deck. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And you guys have a great rest of the day. You take care. Bye.